Hi, I'm John with Prolific Games, and today we're here to talk about Flapjacks and Sasquatches. Flapjacks and Sasquatches is our stick it to your neighbor, fast-paced card game for two to eight players, where you play Lumberjacks in the Great White North, eh? Trying to chop down 21 victory points in trees before the other players can. Now we'll go over some of the basic components that come with the game, and also some of the card play. After that, I'm going to be joined by some friends for an actual playthrough of the game. Flapjacks and Sasquatches comes with 161 playing cards split into two decks. The Tree Deck and the Jack Deck. It also comes with a quick reference card to help explain the dice rolls as you learn the game. A rule sheet that tells you everything you need to know how to play the game. All the chop tokens you'll need. Five dice and of course the box. In a round of play in Flapjacks and Sasquatches, the first thing you're going to do is, if you don't have a tree card, you're going to draw a tree card. And that's going to be the tree you're going to work on to either chop it down or something bad happens to it. Now, each tree has a different number of chops it takes to chop it down, and a different number of victory points it's worth once it is chopped down. Once you have your tree and you've started working on it, next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw one of the jack cards, and you're going to add it to your three card hand, and then you're going to play a card from that hand. The main card, or the basic card you're looking for, is an axe. Your standard axe lets you roll three dice in your chopping roll. Four, fives, and sixes are chops, so on that roll I would have gotten one chop. Towards the four I need to chop down the tree. Threes are misses, as are ones and twos, unless you roll three ones or twos in a single roll. If you do that, you break your axe. Now, as you go along, Maybe somebody's going to get a little jealous, they're going to hit you with a dull axe, or maybe you get some nice titanium axe, things like that. These are going to give you pluses and minuses. These pluses and minuses are to the number of dice you roll. So with the dull axe, you roll two dice, whereas the titanium axe lets you roll four dice in a single roll. Okay, things really start getting heated up, people are going to start slinging things like axe slips and blisters, but that's okay because maybe you'll get yourself a nice pair of gloves to protect yourself, or... Maybe you'll fortify yourself with some flapjacks or bacon and really power yourself up before you make your roll. The other type of cards we have in the game are called interrupt cards. Now let's say there's three of us playing and I chopped down this nice Norway pine, but my, one of my opponents had that cottonwood tree and I was a little jealous, so I went ahead and slapped down switch tags cards. That allows me to ch switch one of my chopped down trees for one of theirs, thereby going up two victory points. But let's say the third player didn't really like this, it was either going to give me the win, or he didn't like the way I was eyeballing him or something. He might go, hold up, his paperwork's in order. Now you'll notice the paperwork title is in blue. That means it can be played by any player out of turn and to stop an action. Paperwork happens, happens to stop tree huggers and switch tags. The other main cards, there's lots more, and we'll feature those in, during our gameplay, but the other really quick, fast ones are the help. There's Little Timber Timmy, the Long Saw and, Part Long Saw and Partner, and Babe the Blue Ox. Uh, they are going to go ahead and chop for you with, with or without you having an axe. Little Timmy gives you one, the others give you varying numbers. They can always be lured away to come work in a different camp. And if there's ever a Sasquatch sighted in the woods, the help is all going to run away. All help is discarded. But each Sasquatch can be debunked. That's no Sasquatch. That's Charlie from Camp 2. Go shower, Charlie! Again, you'll notice the debunk card is an interrupt card, so that can be played by anyone. Those are the basic cards in the game. There's lots more like Lumberjack games and Beavers and other things like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of those will come up as we're playing and we will feature them. But uh, let's get straight to the gameplay. Okay, so we've dealt out the starting hands. We haven't drawn our trees yet, and we're about to start playing. This is Craig and Heather have joined me as my uh, victims. <laughs> um, and I forgot, what's the, what's the starting rule for flapjacks and sasquatches? The Anybody guy, remember what the starting rule is? The one that has the most facial hair. Really? Most facial hair? <laughs> nice! Alright, so at the start of my turn, I draw a tree. You've got a nice scrubby little Norway pine. Who shuffled that? I draw a jack card and I get to play one. So, I'm going to show you and them, but that's my starting hand, and I know Craig can't roll dice to save his life, so I'm going to use one of our Lumberjack game cards. These are cards where you challenge another player 
And in this instance, it's the chainsaw carving contest. We each roll one die, and the person with the highest number gets a chainsaw. <laughs> and he beats me. So Craig gets the chainsaw, and it's over to him. Draws the tree. Draws the jack card. Draws the jack card. Yeah. Yeah, he knows how to play. <laughs> Yeah, I'll start you off with some blisters. Ooh. So, the really cool or nasty thing about blisters is most negatives last for one roll. Blisters last the rest of the game or until I get gloves. Thanks, Craig. Alright, chainsaw has got five dice. Let's see him. Yeah. got four chops. Four chops and a miss with the one. The other thing about the chainsaw is any card that affects an axe also affects a chainsaw, so dull axe, break axe, steel axe, all work on the chainsaw. And he has to roll four ones or twos to run it out of gas. Heather, you're up. Tree. Cottonwood tree. I'm going to play a double bladed axe. Nice axe. Four dice on that one. Two chops. Two. See what we got. Oh, look at that. Hey Craig, you seen the Northern Justice card yet? Because if you haven't, I'm going to use my steel equipment card. No? So I've just stolen back my chainsaw, <laughs> which is down to four dice because somebody gave me blisters. And I get two chops. <clears throat> Go ahead. Alright, that is okay. I have the titanium oh, axe. Nice. One shot. He's got three for it to be chopped down, so he's now leading the game with six points. Also known as a target on his back. <laughs> and front. Forehead. <laughs> oh. I'm going to break the chainsaw. Oh! Thanks, Heather. You're welcome. Make your chopping roll. Chops. What do we got? Fortunately, Craig had three huggers. Oh, but he's got paperwork. There's one of the interrupt cards being played that stops that. I don't have an axe, so I can't make a chopping roll. It's over to Craig. He draws a new tree first, since he knows how to play the game so well. I was replacing the. Oh, yep. For he's drawing up right away. He's right. He's correct. New tree, red oak. New card. He's got. Um, uh, more tree huggers <laughs> on Heather. Okay. I don't have paperwork. Really? Really. It looks like this. Oh. Did she want to play that? <laughs> I don't, oh. honestly. Somebody broke my chainsaw. I remember that. I why you waiting. <laughs> <laughs> one job. Luckily, the titanium axe can't be broken. It's one of the rules on the titanium axe because otherwise his 2 one, one roll would have broken the axe. Heather, take your turn. Heather. Oh, oh, don't get a turn. And Craig got a foot slip. Go ahead. Alright. Oh, well. I'm just going to discard this axe. <laughs> He has too many of them. He doesn't know what to do with them. They're two cluttered dice. up his camp. I got two chops. And foot slip goes white. Alright. And this is what it's like to have a turn. So oh, draw a card. I love turns. <clears throat> turns. I think I'm going to do the axe or against you. Alright. This is number one of the Lumberjack games. The high roller gets two additional dice on their next chopping roll. We're rolling six dice for Heather. Nice time to break that double-bladed axe. Break you, baby! No! But only one chop. I like to roll one more. One more. Oh, one more. Two chops! And the tree is down, tied to the lead. I'm going to put out my boots, because that's all I have. Still no axe. 
slide those up. I don't think it doesn't matter. I can't see them anyways. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna <laughs> throw <laughs> throw another axe there. Got my four dice. Oh, nothing. karma! Nothing. Nothing for the taunter. <laughs> New tree. Another cottonwood. Anybody want to? <laughs> While we're at Gen Con, we had a group of guys show up who are obsessed with the game, and one of them brings his iPad and a or iPod or iPhone, sorry, and a little speaker and plays Cotton Eye Joe every time someone draws a cottonwood tree. <laughs> so now I can't see that and not think of it. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Well, since Craig's getting away from us, so it's gonna be excellent there. Four. Three chops. Come on, X. No. I'm gonna throw away a Babe biscuit because Babe hasn't made an appearance yet, and so that's not a very good card right now. Get out some boots. Still down to three dice with the axe slip. Yeah. Three. Two more chaps. Oh. So, How is it he's winning? I don't know. Because <laughs> it's my I've never first really seen game it of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Don't worry, he never wins. <laughs> I'm going to steal your titanium axe. Ooh, seen that Northern Justice yet? You're going to steal oh, that. Do you want to see what it looks like? <laughs> <laughs> She has to throw away her double-bladed axe, but it was worth it for the unbreakable titanium and the spike. <coughs> oh, the axe slip is gone. Three. Tree is down. Twelve points. Heather takes the lead, and I get out the Swedish broad axe. Bork, bork, bork. But due to my blisters, Heather. No, from Craig. I, I, would I still only get two dice. So I get a chop. <coughs> Some gloves. Alright, new red jack. What's he got? Who's he going after? Probably me. Oh! <laughs> Look at that is that all you have is axes? It's Maybe. rated axes. Oh. Three chops. That yeah, cuts down the red oak. Now in the lead with 13 points. Oh. This could be a fast game. New tree? Not for me. <laughs> red oak. Let's play the log rolling. Nice. So we're rolling off in a lumberjack game to see who loses their turn. Low roller. Tied with sixes. Rolling again. Three. Tied. <laughs> roll again. Oh, I got a one. Roll your choppy roll. All right. I'm all wet. I got to go dry off. Two. That's my turn. All right. New tree. Cottonwood. And we'll play some gloves. <laughs> and three chops. Go. Okay. Well, let's just give you a tree hugger. Got that paperwork yet? Not anymore. No? No. Okay. <laughs> so, like I said with the interrupt cards, anybody could play a paperwork at this time and save him. Anyone. Three chops for Heather. We finally get a turn. And I'll challenge Heather to an axe throw. Another lumberjack game. High roller gets two extra dice. That will be me, so I'm up to four dice. And I got three chops, which brings down my little scrubby Norway pine, so I'm finally on the board with four points. Craig loses his turn to the tree hugger. All right. Well, I'm just going to discard blisters since I can't give it to anyone. <laughs> That's because I already have them. And Craig has gloves, which protect him. Down. Trees chopped down. 19 points for Heather. Next tree will win it. Oh, I should have drawn my tree. Speaking of not knowing the rules. And I finally get my gloves, so my blisters go away. I'm up to three dice. 
And I got one chop on my troop. I need six to get down. He gets a turn. Alright. You gotta okay. slow her down. Uh, being winded will do that. Woo! Minus two dice for being winded. Four. And only one! one. <laughs> oh, He's one chop it. away from being tied with her. <laughs> and luckily, for the second time, can't break his titanium axe. Alright, new tree. Oh, the worst tree she could have drawn, well, for Craig and I, because she only needs four chops. That's the lowest in the game to take it down. Which she could almost do this turn if she could get out some flapjacks or some bacon. No. No. But just because I'm going to steal Craig's axe. <laughs> so her titanium axe is thrown away. And this is now hers. Still only two dice, but sweet, <coughs> sweet dice they are. Oh, nothing. <laughs> it's because it was my axe. Oh. I know. The really unfortunate thing for Heather was it's Sasquatch mating season. So oh. Unless she has the debunk. She's going to lose her turn. I'm going to take over her tree with all its chops. And it's my turn. Three dice for the Swedish broad axe. And no chops for me, a 1-1-3. One, one, Alright. Carpenter's axe. <laughs> <laughs> axe for me. Yeah. He's only got one. one. Yeah, that's all he needs. It's Craig is now at 19 points. Oops. There you go. Heather loses her turn to the Sasquatch. And we're going to find out whether or not Craig has paperwork. Because I'm going to play switch tags on him. And if he doesn't, I'm going to trade my 4 point northern pine for his 7 point red oak tree. Thank you, sir. Dropping him down to 16 points and me up to 7. <laughs> Big old one seven. Yeah, hey, I'll take it. <laughs> New tree, cottonwood. Ooh, that's enough to win it for him still. Just barely, he'll be at yeah, twenty-one we'll exactly. I'll do a Sasquatch rampage. Whoa, Sasquatch rampage! Rawr. Everybody has to discard their hand and draw a new one at the start of their next turn. Still gets to make his chopping roll. Bacon. Gives her a bonus one. Now, Side of Bacon is an interesting card because it's the only card that can be played two cards on your turn. So if you play the Side of Bacon and either a Flat Packs or a Short Stack, you get to play both cards on your turn because it's a Side of Bacon. Go ahead. Yeah, three. Three of the five she needs for the win. play give me a hand on Heather so one of her chops next turn before she rolls them has to be designated for my tree. So at least she's getting one left and two chops for me. Craig, you're up next. Did you get four axes? None. Nope, I got some flapjacks. Ooh, five dice! For the win, right here, if he gets all four, or if he gets four out of the five. Break it. Three. Three. <laughs> so close. One choice. Try card. Oh, babe. Babe, the blue ox. Well, the blue ox. Well, two dice. All right, so I get four dice for my axe, and the black one will be yours. So one for me. Got a chop. I got you. two. She took my tree Which down. takes down my oh! tree. Babe doesn't even get to roll. I'll roll for Babe. Roll for Babe. Doesn't matter. Oh, look at that. Yay. And Heather wins with 21 points to Craig's 16. 16 and my 12 paltry points. I still call that a win. <laughs> Did you beat me? Yes. <laughs> you got to take them where you can. That's Flapjacks and Sasquatches.